It's time. Have you ever wished Pokemon were real? I know I have. Not to have my favorite Pokemon go on a legendary adventure with me. No, I want to beat the crap out of them. You heard that right. I don't know why, I just want to beat the living tar out of every single Pokemon I can find. I just want to take their little cute faces and punch them in like it's a stuffy or something. So, in this video, I'm going to explain the 10 fighting type Pokemon I think I could take in a fight. So you might be thinking, why fighting type Pokemon? The answer is that I feel like there's too many Pokemon to choose from in total. If I went with 10 Pokemon I could fight, the list would be pretty underwhelming. So I decided to make it a little harder on myself and picked a specific type. This also gives me the chance to make 17 more videos for all the other types. Now I'm no fighter, I have little to none fighting experience. Most of my fighting experience is from Super Smash Brothers. I'm not out of shape. I mean, I'm not in shape either. I get winded when I have to run upstairs. But I do think there are some Pokemon I could just beat up. And you might be thinking, Cream, uh, the Pokemon are super strong. They have uh, super duper attack moves. And they'll, they'll, they'll just beat your ass like any Pokemon would. Yes, if they have moves like Focus Blast and Flamethrower and Poison Jab, I feel like I wouldn't stand a chance against any of them. That's why we gotta lay down some ground rules. Yay us. The rules. The fight will be a one-on-one -on -one match. I'm not gonna fight a horde of mankeys because that sounds terrifying. Number two, the Pokemon can't use any moves. And I know that sounds like it's cheating, but I don't have any moves either, so I feel like it makes it more fair that way. They can only use what appendages they have on them to hit me, and vice versa. I'm not just gonna pull out a sword and start hacking Pokemon to bits. But if they do have like a Charmander fire tail I feel like that's fair game I feel like I'm gonna get burned there or if you got Scyther with his claws he's he can he can claw me up number three final destination no items box oh, only yeah. all that kind of stuff this is a long rule I just realized <laughs> it's just hand-to-hand -hand combat that's it that's all that I think that about does it for the rules but before we get started Hey, Cream here. I'm sort of new to this whole YouTube thing, so if you can spare a like or like a comment or something, I'd really appreciate that. It helps my channel grow and helps me make these stupid videos. Thank you. All right, let's get ready to rumble. I was gonna do the whole thing and scream into this mic, but I don't think it'd be that good for it. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Number 10, Machop. Okay, I know what you're thinking. But, but, but Cream, Machop, is pure muscle. He lifts heavy boulders all the time. You can't beat him. You might be right about that. It says right in Machop's Pokedex entry that even though it is the size of a child, it can hurl 100 grown-ups. So why do I think I can beat him? I have one thing Machop doesn't have. I've got reach. I would simply hold his dumb little head while he's flailing his arms, swinging at nothing, you know? If he can't even reach me, his strength means nothing. So that's that's it, that's the end of Machop. I'd break him in half. The end, number nine. There's a couple people that might be upset at this one. Clobopus. Okay, hear me out. He's cute, he's cuddly, he's about to be six feet under. It clearly states in Clobopus's Pokedex entry that his tentacles can be easily ripped off. So all I gotta do, grab him one by one, rip them off, Super Mario Sunshine style. Now I could have said that I can beat his evolution grap locked, but I don't think that would work out too well for me. I feel like I'd be in a, a chokehold before I can even hear the belting. So yeah, I'm punching down, I'm beating up some octopus guy, and there's nothing you can do about it, I'm sorry. It's just I'm way stronger and smarter than a dumb little octopus baby. Sorry, Clobopus fans. Number eight and seven, sock and throw. Okay, this one's a hot take, but hear me out. Sock and throw are both martial arts Pokemon. One is good at karate, the other is good at judo. You can probably guess which one is which. Sock and throw, while you're looking at them, you might think, wow, these guys have black belts. They're masters of karate. But no, I'm here to debunk that game theory style. Just by design, you'll notice that they both have black belts on. But these black belts are just for show. And while I don't know anything about judo, I do know a little bit about karate. Remember when I said I had no fighting experience? That was a lie. I took karate when I was 10 years old. I got all the way up to an orange belt blue stripe. Uh-huh, pretty big deal. It says in their Pokedex entries that they take leaves and fashion a black belt out of those leaves. Hmm, 
doesn't really sound like they earned it through martial practice, does it? That's right, I'm calling them out. Sock and throw are fakes and they're a fraud. So where does my karate experience come in? Well, Sock has a fake black belt and my orange belt, blue stripe, is better than a fake black belt, obviously. So I beat him. I beat him in, in, in a karate skirmish match. I don't know what they call him. So Sock would get owned. And as for throw, I don't really have anything for throw. I do have something throw doesn't have. A gun. Heart. I have heart. And heart beats some guy trying to throw you, I guess. Yeah. Let's go with that. So Bert and Ernie, sorry to say, they're done. Whoa. Okay. We're almost halfway through. Number six, Megalopony. I actually don't know if I could take this thing in a fight. I would just like to wrestle it. Let's ask Spike Spiegel what he thinks about this. I love the kind of woman that can kick my ass. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself, Spike. And there you have it. That's literally all I have for Megalopony. Don't judge me. Let's just go to the next one. All right, we're halfway through this list, and uh, the next one might be a shocker to some of you. Feromosa. Yup. Uh-huh. There's the audience gasping. Someone call the exterminator. The roach has to go. Now, out of all the Ultra Beasts, I don't think I could beat any one of them. They're all super powerful, their stats are so high, they're almost legendary Pokemon. That is, except for Feromosa. This Roach's defense is only 37. That's horrible. This fight would last as long as a One Punch Man fight. In, in one punch, if that wasn't already obvious. Though a Feromosa is very, very fast, I think I could beat it. I would just need to get lucky literally once. Just one little and it's it's over. I would literally just need a well-timed sneeze <coughs> and Feromosa would be gone. She'd be dead. That's that's all I have for Feromosa. I mean, if it somehow got to me with its insane speed, it would probably beat me. Let's be honest, but like if I just hold my fist out, what's what's going to happen? No one would know. But I think I could take it. That's why it's on this list. Number 4. Number 4 is Stuffle. <laughs> Okay, here I go punching down again, but it's for a good reason. There's a lot of fighting type Pokemon and they all look insanely hard to actually fight in a real fight. Have you even seen the list of fighting type Pokemon? I gotta take what I can get here, okay? Don't judge me. This time we're taking on the terrifying Teddy Stuffle himself. Stuffle is another one of those Pokemon, kind of like Machop, where I could just overpower. I could hold my foot out while it does nothing. I could kick it. I could punch it. I could stomp it. I could squeeze its brain out with my foot. Although I actually think the fight would be closer than I think. According to his Pokedex, this one foot tall, 15 pound teddy bear can knock over tree trunks with its body. That's pretty, that's, that's scary. But do I look like a tree? I don't think so. I'm way stronger than a tree. A stupid tree. <coughs> three. Okay, three is another hot take probably for some of you. My, my number three is Hitmontop. Okay, let me put it this way. Have you ever been in a fight? Pretty tough, right? Have you ever been in a fight upside down? Yeah, I didn't think so. That's it. Point for me, zero for Hitmontop. Get owned. Number two. My number two <laughs> th oh, th Pokemon is Phalanx. <coughs> According to its Pokedex entry, Phalanx is the tallest fighting type Pokemon. I bet you didn't expect that. He is literally six spheres. But I guess it means like when they're all stacked up, because I guess they do that a lot. I don't know. But I've played enough Pokey Punch out to know where this is going. The taller they are, you know, the harder they die. I could literally just like soccer kick them all away, I feel like. There might be six of them, but they have no reach, no reliable way to hit me, and no chance in the ring against your boy. I'd be playing soccer across the field, kicking a phalanx down. I don't even care. They're destined to get kicked by me, and that's it. <coughs> a lot of burps in this one. <laughs> so yeah, the no, phalanx is, um, dead now. Good job. You let this happen. PETA. Number one. My number one is going to be G-Max Urshifu. Um, pretty easy fight, I think. No matter what, I could come out on the top of the ring in this one. Just kidding, of course. My number one is actually Scrafty. Scrafty would literally not even stand a chance against me. I'm like double his height, I think. Hold on. Height, 1.1 meters, 3 foot 7. Yeah, I'm 6 foot 14, so uh, I'd kick his ass <laughs> in the ring. Um, no, the, the real way I'd beat Scrafty is he's got like the pants without a belt. He forgot his belt at all times. So I could literally just run away from him until he trips inevitably over his saggy pants and I would just you know how they do an office space against the printer
That's what I'd do to Scrafty, I think. I wouldn't pull out the baseball bat, because that's against the rules. And if he ever just gets up, um, I'm pulling the hood over his head and wailing on him like that. There is no chance that this gangsta could beat me. He would just be like stumbling, bumping, and everything in the ring. He'd be tripping over his own pants. I don't know, man. I feel like I got this one. And don't even look at me like that, Scraggy, because you're next. Beat your dad, I'll beat you too. Anyway, pretty dumb video, hey? I make every video of mine is dumb, so if you like dumb videos where I make up scenarios in my head like this one, you, you're still gonna not like my videos because they're not good. But, let me know what kind of Pokemon you think you could beat. Which Pokemon could you take in a fight? The people want to know, and by that I mean I want to know. I want to know what what's the strongest Pokemon that you feel like you could take in a fight. Darkrai? Uh, I don't think so. Mewtwo? No, your brain would be imploded. Machamp? You might have something there. Just kidding, you don't. If you haven't already subscribed by now, I don't know what to tell you. Do it now. I'll thank you later. Well, I gotta go. I have to take the baby out of the freezer. So I hope you guys have a good day or night. Um, later, skater. Once again, really quick, thanks to all these guys for commenting on my last video. Look at them. So cute. So helpless. So... Weak. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving now. Bye.